it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. And there's two people in the world, I think, that loves Francis Kana no more than me and Paul from Rate My Beer. Thank you very much, Paul. Massive fans of Francis Kana Vice Beer. I drink it every single week. You've got a massive one of these German pourers of the Francis Kana, so you must drink it every week too. And you found a beer for me. A Francis Kana Keller beer. And I'm super excited for this one. I really am. 5.2% ABV. 500 milliliter bottle. It's even got a... Yeah, it's got a Keller beer bottle top by Francis Kana. So, fabulous. These beers are... I've had the Dunkel. I've had the Francis Kana Dunkel. And I think I might have had a Crystal by somewhere along the lines. Have a look on the channel. Uh, but this this is totally new for me, but I am super excited. So check out Paul and Michelle of Rate My Beer. Um, they're fantastic individuals. We've been uh, to a couple of beer festivals in the last few months. Great British Beer Festival and London Craft Beer Festival. Met them twice, drunk with them twice, hung out with them at the German Beer Bar at GVBF. And they're just a load of fun. They're a load of fun. They love the beer. Check out their channel. They've also sent me some Buck and Bird Salami Crisps. And this is their chilli flavour. So without further ado, I can't wait anymore. I'm dead excited for this one. As Jensen Button once said, as he overtook the Japanese driver in the Toyota. I can't remember what Grand Prix it was, but he's about to win his... 2009 World Championship, he overtook the Japanese driver and said, let's go! So let's go, everyone. I'm a big Formula One fan, by the way. Huge. I remember that year when Jensen won it. Oh, I've never had so much of a stressed out year in Formula One because Jensen Button was my driver. What a driver he was in his day. He actually outscored... Lewis Hamilton, if you add up all the points over the three years that they raced together at McLaren, he actually outscored Lewis Hamilton. Totally underrated driver was Jensen Button, really good with his tyres. But anyway, we're not here to talk about Jensen Button and his tyres and his world championships. We're here to talk about this Calibre. Look at this. Look at this unfiltered three-finger slightly off-white head good levels of carbonation as the carbonation rises up the glass it's i would say a deeper amber color but being hazy oh it's got me salivating let's get the aroma then mm. yeah brilliant did i mention the abv it's uh, 5.2% ABV. A little bit of sweetness from the malt coming through. A little bit of a hop, a little bit of a stinging nettle hop aroma. A bit spicy and peppery. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> oh, I just want to close my eyes for a moment and just, just take this in. Um, oh, so good. Such a good beer. So drinkable and refreshing. You do pick up that malt. You pick up that malt. It's got a really nice body to it. It's a, it's a refreshing body to the beer, but at the same time, you definitely get that kind of malt aspect coming through. It's it's a little bit denser than, say, it almost kind of has got the same kind of mouthfeel as a, as a vice beer, actually. It's got that same kind of creamy, rich mouthfeel, but it's going it's gone down really well, that first mouthful. A little bit of sweetness to begin with, malty, 
spicy, peppery, bitter, stinging nettle hop finish on the back end. So we've got a really, really lovely balance to the beer. The reason I took a big mouthful of the beer is I'm still, I'm still out in the garden. I'm not sure if you can see my... Today's work was, I was on the pick all day today. And I, it's like a plastic pick handle. And, ah, here we go. So here's my gloves. And I've worn my... I've worn my gloves down on the on the fingers. Look, I really need a new pair. So it's kind of where, where the holes are in the gloves. It's kind of just been rubbing all day and ah, nearly there. Really, nearly there. I really am. I really am. I'm, I'm. I'm kind of like in a really good mood at the moment because I'm right at the end. I'm right at the end. The, every every do you know when you're doing a job and every swing every like if it's a long job you don't seem to be getting anywhere i mean this has been a two-year process by the way now i'm at the stage of the job is right at the end of the job where every swing of the pick every shovel full every little bit more of cement to put down it's making a massive difference you can actually literally see the end of the job now and it's just lovely it's just lovely so this is almost like a bit of a celebratory video, really, to, to, to say to cheers to Paul and Michelle at Rate My Beer for the beer. The beer is incredible. Oh, it's just... I couldn't think of a better beer right now than this Keller beer, just to refresh myself after that long day. Let's try these Buck and Bird Salami Crisps, then. Now, I can't tell you the price of the Keller beer, and I can't tell you the price for these Buck and Bird, because uh, Paul's obviously picked them up somewhere. And, um, whoa, look at those. 25 grams, protein rich. Look at that. They're crispy. Mmm. So these are the chili flavour. Oh. 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 This is so good. Mmm. Somehow they've managed to kind of crisp these. It's all the flavour of salami. Pepperoni salami type thing. You get the juices of the fats coming through. The chilies coming through. Mm. Really good. Really, really, really good. Oh, I'm going to go online. I'm going to go online and see if these guys deliver. Because they, they are perfect beer snacks. It's like re the really good salami you get on pizza. Fantastic. Mm. So I'm going to rate the Buck and Bird right now. Air dried salami crisps. Fantastic. Easily. Easily for me, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. They are absolutely terrific. Really good. And this, well, this Francis Kahn of Keller beer is probably all in German on the back. Yeah, I reckon they've gone to Germany Paul and Michelle from Rate My Beer. I reckon they picked this up when they were out in Germany and they've sent this straight over from Germany, which is really lovely of them. Really, really lovely of them. So, um, I mean, look at the lacing on the glass. Look at that beer as I roll it round. Look at the quality on that. Just fantastic.
Amazing. Absolutely amazing beer. Absolutely amazing, amazing beer. Um, that is just what the doctor ordered after a really hard day digging. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Francis Carter Keller Beer. 10 out of 10. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.